In this video, I sit down with A.O. McCauley, EXP Realty real estate agent that in 2023, when people were worried or not working in this market, he was getting deals done. Over 100,000 in GCI, providing amazing service to his clients in his first year as a part-time solo agent here at EXP Realty, all while being a husband, father, working in IT, and he has an app launching very soon. This man can do it all. I'm Callum Moore, EXP Realty real estate broker and let's just dive right into it meet him and find out how he does it hey ao great to chat with you how's it going well, i'm good very grateful to be here thank you for your amazing videos i watched them when i was um, studying for my real estate <laughs> license and i was very happy to see someone break things down in a very simple and straightforward way oh very, man very important. oh man so glad that that helped and i'm so glad that everything else has helped because you're way past that now, aren't you? Oh, okay. Let's basically dive right into it. You are a realtor now for under 15 months. You've been extremely successful. And of course, we're going to dive right into that. Uh, but if you can, give us like your 60 to 90 seconds of why add real estate in your case, isn't it? Because why get into this amazing real estate industry on top of what you're already doing? Yeah, for sure. So I am part-time for now, but real estate's even coming from Nigeria because that's when from studying the real estate markets in Canada, I'm like, look, man, there's pretty much maybe five things you can do to really do well in Canada. And real estate is one of them. So I started out as just wanting to be an investor. So after we got our first property and a couple others, then my wife was like, look, you did all this research for 20 months. You, we followed your advice to come to this specific place. It's worked out fantastically. Why are you wasting time? Go get your license. And okay, not a problem. Get the license. And um, initially I was very, very, I won't say terrified, but when you're starting something new, it's always, there's always these uh, emotions you go through. Is this going to work? Do I know what I'm doing? And then when I found that in my community and in other communities, um, there's this gap in knowledge and understanding on how to get into real estate safely. And because that's exactly what I had just done for myself and my family and my extended family as well coming into Canada, it just became my thing. You know, people have this idea of real estate that is not exactly correct. People get into a lot of trouble trying to get into real estate in the wrong way. So I'm here. Let me share my knowledge and make sure that people get into real estate without losing everything that they have. Okay. So I didn't even know that you got in at the beginning for investment purposes, but now of course you're getting in to help people kind of based on your specific scenarios that you dealt with. I hear that a lot actually. And it's fantastic when someone can do this, take their experience and help people. Absolutely love that. Okay. So let's get into the good stuff. Second question. People have read the title of this video, over a hundred thousand GCI in your first year and only growing, right? What are your go-to like lead gen sources, right? How are you meeting these amazing clients of yours? I mean, obviously I, uh, I joined EXP through you and you have these resources that I just um, did a deep dive into, you know, YouTube was something that I knew I had to do even before starting my licensing procedure and from that social media as well. Um, I don't have too much time to do YouTube as much as I can. And I found out that my audience typically likes um, to get information quickly and then ask questions later. If they have more questions, then I use YouTube as a reference point. But my main um, area of getting those leads is, you know, building that social credit through social media. People can see who you are. You're not just a suit and a tie. You're not posting um um, this is what's happening this month and stuff like that. You are speaking to their fears. You're speaking to their hopes and dreams, you know, and you're making it, um, you're putting it in a format that people can understand. Simple and easy to understand as I learned um, watching your videos as well. You know, just making sure that in this very complex market or seemingly complex market, there is a resource that people can go to to say, okay, this is step one. I understand step two, step three, step four, step five. I'm good. I know what I need to do now. Ayo, thank you very much. Let's keep going. So I think that's what attracts most of my audience to my social media, because instead of trying to say things like, oh, check your amortization rate or look at interest rates and do all these things, I try to say, hey, um, when you're trying to buy a house, you need to know how much a lender is willing to give you based on your income. Meet with a mortgage broker first. Let's start this thing off safely. That is step one. 
Don't get overwhelmed by the remaining steps once we're done with this step. And once you understand, we move on to the next step. You know, these are the things that I put out through my social media and I'm happy that it's actually resonating and thankfully generating those leads. Amazing. I love that you, we attracted you. you, uh, I kind of, to a certain extent, what you're doing now with clients, and this is what I talk about in what you mentioned at the beginning, kind of how my channel is B2B and you came and you found me because you like organization. Your channel is so organized and the steps you mentioned and they can watch it and people like to follow along with steps and go through the processes. I love your channel and everyone knows that follows me on this. I love YouTube like no other. I know you coupled with Instagram and that's fantastic. Always just start with the heavy lifting, which is YouTube and move it over to the other platforms. The feeds are so powerful. You're crushing it. Okay. So you kind of mentioned it before at the beginning, you have joined eXp Realty, right? As a brand new solo agent, right? Which means you keep all of your commission, but you are part of our on agent crew, right? So our independent team here at eXp, right? So you can reach out to us when needed, but basically touch on why go eXp Realty, right? In Ontario here, why go cloud-based to a certain extent? Well, first off, I'm in IT. I work in IT um, full-time. And my background is in IT. So when I heard cloud, for me, cloud infrastructure is basically trying to simplify things. You know, think of your iPhone. You can um, get iCloud on your iPhone. Things are not stored on your iPhone. They're not taking so much space on your iPhone because they're in the cloud. You know, it's simple. It's straightforward. And when I applied that thinking to EXP and obviously seeing that you were in EXP, it just made sense. You know, this is a cloud the brokerage i don't need to go into the office to meet anyone if i need any help everyone is on facebook everyone is in the cloud we have our exp world which is um a place where it's like a virtual office space like you can walk and see people and really have a chat that's where i did my agent onboarding you know it's very very convenient and coupled with the fact that i'm doing real estate part-time it just made a whole lot of sense and when you um bundle that with the commission splits and the capping and things of that nature just makes a lot more sense than than usual you know looking at other uh, brokerages i know that they're doing a good job but it goes back to what um, i've been saying it's simple to understand it's a one two three i can understand it i can get it and we can grow from there simplicity is the key isn't it the best teachers i've ever had in my entire life can just explain things from start to finish and they don't need these extra steps. Like I was at Remax for three years and I absolutely love that. All brokerages, you know me, I'm very open to everything. But the fact that I can save time and just spend the time I need with the awesome people I want to talk to, um, with, a, with avoiding all of the travel time and everything like that or the fees, it's perfect for me. I'm so glad it's perfect for you. And I do hear that a lot. Um, maybe even on the part-time side as well, a little bit too, because guess what? You can control your hours and learn when you want to, can't you? Okay, fantastic. Let's move on. Uh, A person, right? So I know you're a super hard worker, right? But what person type of person can duplicate your success, right? What is kind of like your daily routine, like being part-time and being so successful? Yeah. So starting with what kind of person can duplicate. um, I'm the type of person that likes to see the issues first. So I... Coming into real estate, I read that 87% of real estate, of realtors um, just go away in the first, uh, first one year or first two years. I'm not really clear on that statistic, but there's a high attrition rate when it comes to getting into real estate. And it's in my opinion that if you're a person that understands that this is not a <laughs> an easy job, you know, there is a lot of hard work. There is a lot of learning. There is a lot of organization. There's a lot of putting yourself out there, you know, if you're willing to learn, fail and relearn and do the work to get to where you need to be, then definitely it's something that anyone can replicate. You will not be able to replicate this if you think you're just going to come and relax and people just going to start chasing you (laughs) immediately, you know, or uh, like I've heard before, um, I got into real estate in quotes from one of my, uh, one of people I was speaking with because I thought the brokerage was going to give me leads, you know? So there's this perception um, that you come in and you relax. If you are willing to spend five, six months with nothing, you know, and make sure that every month that passes, you are growing 
because I started in October. I didn't close my first deal till January 2023, you know, and that's fees you're paying, you know, that's uh, lessons you're going into, you know, that's so many things that you're doing and you're not seeing the immediate results. So if you're willing to do that work and, um, you know, just help people genuinely, you should be able to do even better. Man, keeping it real. I absolutely love how you keep it real. I, I have this like thing I'm trying to put together over like a genius, a very smart person and a smart person. And you can be a normal person, right? A hardworking person with a positive attitude and a plan. If you have those three things, you can crush it in real estate. It seems like you're just keeping it real. What type of person can duplicate your success? Know that you're growing a business, aren't you? You're not an employee when you become a real estate agent, right? Oh man, Ayo, fantastic. I know I keep these meetings short. I, in the future, I'm going to do longer ones where there are like big, long podcasts so I can just ask a million questions and go, do deep dives. But for the sake of these ones being on YouTube, I'll keep them short. Okay, last quick question. How can people reach out to you? Because like, there's a lot of people that watch my channel that guess what? They are getting their real estate license to add, basically add maybe to their, they're already current careers or they're starting part-time with goals of going full-time. So there's going to be a lot of people that kind of want to kind of pick your ear to a certain extent. Where can they, uh, where can they get a hold of you? What's the best place? Um, best place to get a hold of me is on Instagram. Um, YouTube is mostly for my, I'll call, call them long lectures where I'm breaking things down. Uh, if you'd like to watch my YouTube videos, that's fine. Subscribe. That would be very helpful. But I found that the best place for most people to reach out to me is on Instagram. On Instagram, I have all my contact details there. So if you want to get my um, WhatsApp number, it's there. We can chat and, you know, send me a DM. We go from there. You're good, my man. Thanks so much for coming on. I'll have all that stuff in the description below for everyone. Amazing stuff. And we'll talk soon. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Have an amazing day. Hey guys, I hope that video helped. If you are at a point in your career where you're looking for more support or if you're just getting your license and want to find out what we're doing here at eXp Realty in our on agent crew, specifically here in Ontario, reach out. You can DM, email, comment on this video or book a one-on-one -on -one discovery meeting with myself in the description below. I'm Callum Moore, eXp Realty real estate broker here in Ontario. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.